I think what I'm going to do now is do a little bit of automation with this, this pad sound so it's not so constant. I want it to slowly fade up into it. A great way of doing that is to automate the mixer. So what I'd like to do is automate this fader right here. Now I could do this from, uh, directly from this page with my mouse. I can just click on it and move it up and down. What I'd like to do though is actually assign this to a fader on my controller. Now if you're just using any generic controller that doesn't have the auto map feature, you can very easily do this. Probably the easiest way, you want to make sure that you have, yeah, we're good to go on that. Uh, I'm going to hit the control key and I'm going to click on my fader. And I'm going to go down to edit remote override mapping. So in here, I want to select my basic keyboard. Uh, I want to make sure that I have the learn, learn from control surface input. Now the next knob I move, there, it just saw that, so now that's assigned. So if I hit OK, I now have remote control over that, which is a great feature. I'm going to go back to the beginning and hit play and record, and we'll record a little bit of these, this pad sequence. If we look at our sequencer page, I've just added in all of that controller data. If I wanted to go back and fine tune it in any way, I can go under my edit page. And there we will see how this all lines up. Let me just zoom in on it so you can actually see how this all works. And uh, we'll scroll to the right. You can kind of see how I was playing with it a little bit. So those are the, the movements that I've been making. Um, if we wanted to edit this even further, Again, we talked a little bit about the line tool. So this is how we can really fine tune our performance. So if I really wanted it to fade in from here, maybe up to that, and then here, maybe down a little bit. So as you can see, there's my grid. So I can really get the timing of this correct. So that has a nice curve. I'll leave that one. This last one, I think I'm going to smooth out a little bit. Leave that one. It's an interesting curve. I'll leave that one. And there we have it. Again, you'll notice anything that's been automated will get this green line around it. It denotes that it's been automated and there's automation on it. So it's starting to take a little bit of shape. This is a great little sequence. You might want to use this for a, a backdrop, for a web, a web page or something like that. A little 16-bar loop, which would be perfect for the web. <laughs>